you know, some of the things we could discuss here, I feel I'm almost insulting your intelligence. Why, why has the grassland given, away, given way to weeds and brush and everything like this? If you rest grasslands in any environment, they tend to go to brush, to woody, weedy, brush, whatever. Grassland gives way. The only exceptions to that that I know of are where there's a soil factor, something maybe the shallowness of the soil or some factor in the soil that limits it and keeps it at grassland. But otherwise, basically, grasslands need animals. And if you protect them from animals, as we do, they give way and go to brush. As I visit so many ranchers um, who, bless them, are absolutely happy with what they're doing. And that's okay for them. But I know if it was my ranch, I could push it twice as far. Okay? So many ranchers get started, plan their grazing, okay, go to training, plan their grazing. As they begin to move their animals, they stop overgrazing plants. Okay? You get an improvement of the land if you stop overgrazing plants, but they do not stop the partial rest, the excessive resting of the land. So you get an improvement and then it plateaus and just stays like that. Now the ranches that I'm talking about, the one I've just talked about, 400%, when it started to plateau like that, we just kicked it up again, further, 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 further. Because we stopped the rest. We'd stopped the overgrazing of plants long ago. Overgrazing of plants isn't the problem. Why is this land like this? Why is this land not as good as it could be? Hmm? Not enough animals. Yeah. There aren't enough animals here to keep this healthy. Several times in the last two or three years, since I gave up my plane, I've been driving from Albuquerque to the West Ranch, and that's a long way, and I've just made a habit of counting the cattle I see, and it has averaged 35. That's from Albuquerque to um, between Midland and uh, Del Rio, you know, where the place is. That's a long, long way. And on average, you see about 35 head of cattle. There are almost no cattle left in Texas. They're all in feedlots. And that's critical for your water, for your profitability, your stability, everything. And when I first came to Texas, you guys had spent millions of dollars clearing mesquite and brush, and I see you still doing it. 30 years later, they're still doing it. What's that definition of insanity? It's something like $300 million we spend every year in the United States killing weeds, brush, noxious plants, and we do it year after year after year after year after year. We just keep doing it. What could we do if we took 300 million and put it into adult education? What would that do? It changed the whole situation around.